Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that mercury has a specific weight of 133 kN per cubic meter when the temperature is 20 degrees C. Determine its density and specific gravity at this temperature. Now we are given the specific weight and we are asked to find the density and the specific gravity. So now we know that the specific weight which is represented by gamma is equal to the weight per unit volume and we always know that the weight is mass times g divided by per unit volume and the mass mass divided by per unit volume is the density so that will be equal to um, the density into g so now we can say that the specific weight is also equal to the density times g and it is always e also equal to the weight per unit volume so now we are given this uh, specific weight in kilonewton per meter cube so we can say that the gamma this gamma is given so from this equation we can find the density so now we can write that the gamma value is 133 kilo so this is 133 into 10 to the power 3 newton per cubic meter this is equal to the density of mercury let me write that this is the density of mercury and times the g value which is 9.81 meter per second square so now we can say that the density of mercury is 133 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 newton per meter cube multiply by uh, we need to divide both sides of equation by 9.81 so we can say that 133 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by 1 divided by 9.81 and then these units will be cross multiplied so that will be square uh, s square divided by meter so we can say that this is 9.81 s square divided by meter so now we can say that this is uh, 133 into 10 to the power 3 newton per this m to the power 3 multiplied by m so this will become m to the power 4 and this is a square divided by 9.81 so this is uh, 133.81 133 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by 9.81 this gives us 13557 13557.594 and this is newton second square divided by meter to the power 4 and this is this is equivalent to the kg per cubic meter since the density is always equal to we know that the density is always mass per unit volume and that must be equal to kg per cubic meter so this unit must be equal to this kg per meter cube so now we know that newton one newton is always equal to kg meter per second square since this is force uh, f times f equals to m times a as in mass times acceleration so this is mass and this is the acceleration so now we can write that this is uh one three five five seven point five nine four instead of newton i will write kg meter per second square and the remaining units are these two so that is multiplied by s square divided by m to the power four so s square will cancel out and one m will cancel out so we'll be left with m to the power three so ultimately we are left with one three five five seven point five nine four and that will be kg per cubic meter which is the unit of the density so this is the density of the mercury according to the given data for that particular specific weight so now we have determined this density now the next uh, thing we are going to find is the specific gravity now the specific gravity is a unitless uh, unitless property of a given fluid that is equal to the 
density of a fluid in this case the fluid is the mercury so the density of the mercury divided by the density of the water at 20 degrees c so now the density of uh, mercury we have determined that that is 13557 so we will write that this is 13557.594 and the density of water at 20 degrees c that is at room temperature is 1000 so now 13557 divided by 1000 will be equal to approximately 13.56 and since this is the ratio of densities so it will be unitless right so this is kg per meter cube divided by kg per meter cube the units will cancel out and we will get just a number so this is the specific gravity of mercury so this tells us the uh, the mercury is 13.56 times denser than the water so this uh, for the given data the density of the mercury is 13557.594 kg per cubic meter and the specific gravity is 13.56 so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions related to fluid mechanics